Previously on Scotty Survivor Steel City, the players faced off in touchy subjects answering tricky questions about their fellow contestants and guessing the most common answer overall. Some contestants received a wake-up call about their status in the game, and with immunity, Audrey had the means to flip, and in a tight race between Olivia and Dorothy, a 5-4 split resulted in Dorothy's elimination. Eight are left. Who will be voted out tonight? What a fantastic move that was. <laughs> Spectacular blind side of Dorothy. She voted for me and then we got her back around later. Looks like Dorothy's not in Kansas anymore. Toto! I have a feeling we aren't in Kansas anymore. <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> Wait, um, we can't sound like we're laughing. How in the hell did us two bitches make it this far? I was just saying to her that we need to like get Audrey to not like know that it was her. Like they like Helen's mind is blown. No, it it is. Yes, it is. His fucking face. He, they were all sitting outside like trying to talk to each other, and I just went and leave. <laughs> I feel bad because they were they were shocked. I think Dorothy was shocked. But if there's anything about Survivor, when you get way too cocky in this game says me i'm pretty cocky in this game but like i don't know she made that big move she thought there was gonna be no repercussions we all knew it was you that made that move dorothy you're gonna like <laughs> you have a huge target on your back obviously a big enough target that you went to be honest i have absolutely no idea if that was a smart move or not um yeah i just at a certain point i just kind of felt like i had i'd thrown her name around too much to not say it because I was worried people people bring it up next week so I was like all right I'd like to talk the talk we gotta walk the walk um yeah I th I th we'll see how it turns out <laughs> I don't really I'm, I just did, I, I didn't want to I just didn't want to about Olivia also so like hopefully she'll remember what she said and also what she said about potentially voting out Leo later was not in her best interest, was it? It was, dude. Okay. Because May, Javi, and Dorothy are way closer than, yeah. than they are to her. She would have been on the outs. Yeah. And, uh, and Leo and I fucking convinced the shit out of her and she did it. I'm so happy. I'm happy I didn't have to play my idol, but I did tell Leo about it, which I don't even care, honestly. I'm I just feel like if anything, it makes him trust me more. But I did tell Audrey that um, whenever she wanted to get Leo out, I was down. And I, I still mean that. I think Olivia wants Leo out. L Olivia and I went to film our joint confession and she was like, girl, we gotta get Leo out. Audrey knows it, I know it. I'm like, bitch, I'm down. You're my number one over. We gotta be careful. Because I know Leo needs to go soon, and Audrey knows that too. So I'm gonna keep that. You and I should get a brunch or some shit with Audrey. Yeah, that's a good idea. Audrey, I feel bad that I put her in a shitty position. I gotta text her. But I, damn, she saved my ass. Thanks, Audrey. No offense to Audrey, but she is misreading. I mean, unless Leo and Olivia are gonna flip back, like she's reading this shit but i am not complaining because she just got dorothy i had a feeling back when like earlier today me may and um audrey facetimed because eric and dorothy were busy and like based on even just my individual facetime with audrey she was just kind of like pushing shit off and like i should have realized because like we like audrey dorothy and i even discussed like how people know we lie like we discussed that when audrey lies she talks faster and like all these like random things and I noticed like she was talking a bit different and the stuff she was saying was so like insubstantial. And I was like, there's something up. Like, but obviously I didn't want to like assume it and like act on that um, assumption, suspicion, but she fucking flipped. She fucking flipped. I'm so fucking pissed. Audrey told me what was happening. I told Sarah. Uh, told Sarah she's my number one. Hopefully, that's fine. And Eric was real with me. He was like, it's 
well, I don't know if he firmly said it wasn't me, but he was like, well, he FaceTimed me and he was like, this plan is happening. Audrey's flipping. I'm going to not flip so I can retain some connections with the other side, which wasn't a bad move on his part. Like, I was like, I need to tell at least one person because I can't just like, yeah, sit. Wait, so Eric also knew, right? And like, yeah, you know. Audrey flipping? Honestly, it does make sense. It's pretty reasonable that she flipped. Um, I do see why she would do it. Like, it does make sense. Because this way, she gains the trust of Olivia so she can get out Leo. But in the bigger picture of things, she ruins so much trust between May and I. Because now. It's kind of May and Hallie versus Audrey and Eric. And I think May's definitely closer to me and Sarah. As Audrey flipped and Corey and Sarah knew about it. And literally the entire time I had no idea what was going on, Hallie had no idea what was going on. I thought other people had did not know, but apparently it was just me and Hallie. So all of the effort I did to save Sarah and Corey, and like I literally talked about this in my last video, I was wearing the same sweatshirt. I was so proud of myself for saving both of them. And they both didn't tell me that it didn't even matter. So. I don't even know what to think. I think I'm gonna tell Corey that, yeah, like I tried to have his back and he's not telling me anything. So unless he shows me some kind of like loyalty by telling me something, then I don't know if I will have his back anymore. Because I'm kind of tired of like never knowing what is happening. That happened in the last one when it was split vote. And then it also happened this time when Audrey flipped and Corey, like the thing was like he was trying to like ask me what was wrong like the entire time he's like i have no idea what happened i have no idea what happened this will come back to bite me when this comes out but now i kind of want Corey out and i'll explain why he's such a bad liar like after the vote he was like what just happened and like it, it was the bad lying for me like it was bad and then i talked to sarah after and she said yeah i knew and she said Corey knew too and i was like he was literally saying he didn't, and then she said, yeah, he was lying. So and I said that to him when we called, he, he called me as I was like driving home. And I was like, dude, you oversold it a little too much. I don't know why you would lie about that, Corey. That literally makes no sense because it's so easy to find out the truth. If you're gonna lie, just lie about something a little bit better. It's immense Saren and I, I think it's immense May and I. The issue with May is that she kind of called me and Sarah out for knowing about it, which I don't know how she knows. But the weird chain of information in this game that I'm assuming she found out we knew that if Olivia told Audrey and Audrey told Eric and Eric told me. That's like what makes the most sense to me. But I mean, I also played off as like, yeah, we knew it was a possibility. We, we didn't know if it was real or not, so I didn't say anything. Which is true. I just kind of want Corey out because I just don't want anyone knowing about my idol. I think Corey has the merge idol. And I think this because last night at Tribal, I mean, I was thinking about it all night. I had nightmares about it. I was thinking about it all night and the only two people that brought bags with them, like, like put them next to their chairs was me because I had the idol and I was thinking about okay I might need to play it so I need to have it near me and Corey so to me that tells me he had something that he was thinking about playing
Come on in, guys. Audrey, I'll be taking that back. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep that. <laughs> That's my fault. That's my fault. Right. Immunity is once again back up for grabs. Today's challenge is called Towers of Chance, and here's how it works. You've all already been assigned positions as determined by random draw. From those positions, you'll be running two bags of, of dice that are located at different parts of the field. You will then be bringing back those bags of dice and creating towers back at your spot. You can only use the tweezers provided to you. You cannot use your hands to build. You must clear the first row of dice and create your first row of the tower prior to getting any further bags of dice. If there are no further questions, we shall begin. Best of luck. Survivors ready? Go! And they're off! Fuck out my way, Jesus. It's an absolute mad dash. Olivia's running right at us! Olivia throwing them! Keep running forward! Dodging out of the way! We brought our terrorists! Okay, we have a lot of people beginning to build. Corey coming back. Everybody on the ground right now. Wait, what only has four dice? Nope, there we go. Nope, there we go. Audrey fixing the orientation on her dice. And she's got them stacked perfectly. Not really, but semi perfectly. It'll do. Good Going. headway. And Corey's done with the first level! Holy shit! Oh. Oh. Corey's the first one to get the second set of I'm missing a die! Oh man, that could be an issue. Can I take this tear off to rebuild one of those? Vanessa, I had one fall, can I take this off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, this isn't looking too hot right now. Eric will not be winning individual immunity. Fuck! You can take a seat. You are now out of the challenge. Eric helping out Sarah now that Eric is out of the challenge. The least I can do. Maybe going out for another bag. So the second level I still have to do. They gotta all be the same color, bud. Yep. Are mine the right? Because I am the dead ass colorblind. Okay, Eric, let's After a long, grueling challenge that was a lot more difficult given the darkness, congratulations, May. You will not be eligible to be voted out at the next tribal council. This is yours. To the rest of you, wishing you the best at your next tribal council. As we have seen, this is a very divided tribe. We'll see if it stays that way. Good night. I could have won that challenge potentially, but I felt that $100 was worth more than winning the challenge from my position. I didn't think I needed immunity this week. I thought it would be kind of a waste. And yeah, it was. I heard, oh, like Eric has taken the advantage. I'm like, wait, advantage? Because I remember running and seeing a paper inside the bag and I thought it was some kind of like hidden um, beauty idol thing that like maybe like only I got or something. It was like randomized. So then like I quickly hid it in my pocket and then I realized, oh, it was a freaking advantage. So then I took it out and read it, like took my time. Cause like I knew there was no way I was gonna win this challenge by like freaking dice. Like I can't even put the tweezers on top right. Um, and then I read it it's, like to the first person and I said, shit, like I should have just taken it. Cause yeah, this challenge is like kind of pitiful. But then I don't really know how, but like I kind of managed to like get it back together and then I built my first stack and then I built my second tower and like it kind of like fell over again of course um but then I built like another row and then I built another stack and another one and I'm like shit like I actually am kind of good at this and so then I put I had two rows built and all I had to do was do was build one column of the five dice and so like I put it down I put another one down and then another one and then it falls over and so I'm like, all right, I like built another, another, and then another, and then I had my last dice, and I was just like shaky, like my hand was like quivering, I was like, ah, and then I placed it down, and I like looked at it, like, first thing, I was like, oh my god, like, I think I just won, and I was like, go in, and then he like rushed over and was like, oh my gosh, like, Maggie won, yeah, so that was exciting, because I wasn't expecting myself to win, like, a little bit proud of my comeback, and I guess it kind of teaches me to never give up, lessons learned. I'm just like, rip me. Cause immunity would have been nice this week. Like, cause at this point I know like I'm work gonna be working on like time, like it's gonna be a struggle making it to the end. I feel like, cause I think I'm moving back into a position of not being completely fucked. And obviously when you're not completely fucked, that's usually when you actually get fucked. So, just met with Audrey. I feel like we've had very similar interactions with Eric, because it's yeah. like, I don't know, he's both lied to us yeah. poorly. He, he, like, he lies a lot, and it's really easy, but like, and he thinks he's a lot more slick than he actually is, but it's pretty easy to find out when he's lying, because he lies about such unnecessary shit, you know, right? We were able to kind of call a truce, because Eric, in different ways, has screwed both of us over between you and me like yeah. i definitely think we're the people that are the closest to him like yeah. you first definitely me second but like i between the two of us like and if we like confer as to what he's like yeah crazy like <laughs> we can fact check him yeah we can literally we can literally fact check him
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Snoop says something. <laughs> I know. But I do like it's this weird balance for me. Like, I know he lies, but I still like him. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I know he's like the biggest liar in this game, but I'm like, I still want to keep you around. Like, yeah, like, I trust you the most, even though you're like the biggest liar ever. <laughs> I know. And we kind of got on the topic of you know people we'd want to vote out, and Corey's name came up. And you know, I know Corey has a marriage idol. He knows I have the Balder idol. And I don't like him knowing that information, so um, I am good with doing that. Like, okay, like theoretically, if we want, if we want to take Corey out, we could we could tell Holly that it was going to be Leo. We could get we could get like Olivia, Holly, May to go on Leo, say that we're doing it too. We can do Corey, then the two of team. After talking with Audrey and having this meet up with her and just kind of calling a truce in general, um, met up with Olivia or talked to Olivia, and she's on board. Let's see, I talked to Audrey and Olivia. I'm thinking of Howie. Yeah. Oh, Audrey's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to you. I'm listening. No, only because I just feel like it's the easiest thing to do right now. But I know you, you're close to him, which is why I wanted to hear what you wanted to say. We, I, got, I, I, am, I am close to him. But then again, I also did kind of like stab him in the back. The consensus seemed to be either Hallie or Leo. Or Corey. <laughs> As we know, it's Hallie or Corey. But the merge idol. Yeah. Someone, someone's got the merge idol. I'm, I'm, I feel it in my bones. Corey, well. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, that, that was uh, a thought. That was a thought. You gave me that clue out to everybody. You did. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would you do that? The way, the way that, the way that, the way that Corey portrayed it when I was talking to you was like, oh yeah, dude, it's like way too close, drunk, and then like walk, hold stuff yeah. to me and ask me for it. But then, but then Leo. But then, but then Leo. But then, uh, but then Leo portrayed it like, like, oh, like. You know, Corey was drunk and he had some gear and I flipped him also. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of my condition with sharing, sharing the clue was don't give it out to anyone. So, yeah. <laughs> you did. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think Corey's a, a little bit salty at Leo. We are both pretty on board with going for Corey if it can remain secretive. Um, I think for jury vote's sake, we don't want to come back and bite us. How do you feel about that? Because like I knew that like yeah. you were working with Corey, so I don't want to like. Well, yeah, like thing... if you want to get Helen set up. Yeah, we, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it, but I just don't want him to play an idol. That's all. But like I'm I'm good with it. That's what you want to do. Um, I don't know. I I think let's see what happens I, because I don't know. Unless we get Corey to flush it. So I think we're gonna work with Audrey for this vote, Audrey and Eric, which makes me nervous because Eric is Eric. Um, <laughs> but I think now um, Olivia and Audrey are having their meetup and they're gonna see, or she's gonna see how it goes there. And then, you know, we'll just regroup. I'm gonna yeah. go up to a practice room because I need to go there anyways. Call Sarah, see what she has to say. Call Leo, see what he has to say. And pro I can probably get an answer to you guys by like 2.33. Okay. Yeah, I just like really need to talk to you. I don't know what's going on tonight. And I like, Audrey is saying to me like, you, me, her, Eric. And like, I don't know if I'm totally down for that, but I'm, not, like, I'm down for you. Well, I, I just, don't know what you're saying to you, but... I literally what? just met with Eric and Audrey. Like I just came upstairs to call you. And it seems like they're, sus like, not suspiciously, but they're pretty much down to do whatever we want. I think she, I mean, she figured out that Corey had the idol and I just confirmed it for her. Would you be down to do the Corey thing? Yeah. Well, yeah, but it can't get back to him not doing it, like, at all. Well, yeah, me either. It can't, it can't get back on any of us. Audrey has to look like she's orchestrating the entire thing. We can somehow manage to vote Corey out this week, and no one knows he has the merch idol except me and Olivia for sure. Um, that would be awesome. I'm gonna go find it. Me, Audrey, Sarah, and Eric vote Corey. We tell Leo and Corey to vote.
Holly, and Holly and May will vote Leo. I'm like, uh, I don't care if Corey gets out, but then May cares. So I told her this. Like, the consensus is probably like, Leo or Holly. Maybe Corey, that was what they were saying. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I told Corey I wouldn't vote for him. So like, yeah. if you guys voted for him, then I feel like I probably couldn't. This blew up in my face because Audrey and Eric told Hallie, which was an awful move. I need to get in touch with. I'm gonna. Fa I'm gonna face them, Hallie, like right now. What? <laughs> okay, wait. Why does Hallie? Wait. Why was Hallie going for Leo? Hallie was supposed to go for Corey. Oh, why? Because oh, she needed demographics. But but then but now she told me that she wants Hallie for Leo. But it's okay because Hallie Hallie knew about the split, so it's fine. So I can just tell him to go for Leo. He did. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> See, I'm just getting worried. There's just gonna be too many, like, I mean, there's no way that he would tip off Corey, right? He won't. He won't because I, because like, I think he realizes that, I, what I told him was that keeping, I, I, I just t tried to do like a numbers thing on him. I was like, I was like, look, if we keep, if we keep Corey, then it's going to be like, 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 think about this way. Like, like I was like, all the OG Balder people are really tight from when they were all on Balder. And even if they say that connection is gone, it's still there. So we need to get rid of Corey. Dr. Audrey told me that. She was like, obviously don't tell May because May's close to Corey. But the thing is, when I first talked to Audrey, the first thing I said was like, yeah, I just br briefly talked to Corey and May. Because there's five, no, there's because there's four old Balder, four old Odin, and they want to get rid of more Balder because Audrey's saying, oh, there's still connection to blah blah blah, which like honestly, like connection, they're just like, eh, like I don't think they're that strong. I mean, yeah. they are, but like, yeah, she was saying. Corey first, then Leo, because Corey was originally Balder and Leo was Odin. Hallie told her that he was supposed to vote for me. So... She was supposed to vote for me. Because basically, Audrey was... Audrey, Olivia, and Eric made this plan at lunch that... They were gonna put the Ogun votes on me. Eric was gonna flip to Leo with Sarah and May, and I was just gonna be fucking clueless. Which doesn't make any fuck. Like, here's the thing: like, there have been stupid moves in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if this were true, but this is fucking stupid. Like, what does this even mean? Audrey. That's, that's what I figured. I mean, it was between you and Leo, they were thinking. Eric as well? Well, here's what well, Eric- Eric, well, no <laughs> offense. Eric's like Audrey's little bitch. Whatever Audrey says, Eric's- Cause that's, that's, I'm gonna be honest, that's also part of the reason, because I knew that when it was last week's vote, it mm. was Audrey saying, okay, we should get Corey. And May was like, he could have, he could have an idol. She distracted it, didn't put on me. So now, um... Olivia and I are backtracking, we're voting for Eric, and I'm making up this thing that I'm on the phone with Audrey right now, and that she's telling me the plan to vote out Corey, which isn't the best lie I've ever come up with, but it's what we're gonna have to go with for Corey to fully believe that it is not him, but still believe it enough that potentially he flushes his idol. Well, I came up with a genius idea just to fucking get Eric out of the game at last, because this man is a fucking snake. He has started lying now directly to my face. At least before when he flipped, like, he just withheld the truth. And, like, he's like, yeah, we can still work together, blah, blah, blah. And now he's, like, actively trying to get me out. And if Audrey's doing it, there's no fucking way he's not. So. Sorry, dude. You done fucked up. Okay, I'm with Olivia, and Olivia has Leo on FaceTime. We tried to get it when you two were also talking, but that did not work out well. Okay. Okay, um. Let's go, Eric. <laughs> okay. Eric is telling Audrey that we are actively not working together and Eric's gonna try and get me out in a couple, in like a week. And think about less. it, getting Eric like, out. Like, Eric is actively working against me without us knowing. That's true. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to spread shit, like, this is dead ass. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Wait. Oh, we're gonna get Eric out. Corey, me, 
and Leo and Sarah talked, and we were like, maybe it's best if we get Eric out. And Corey didn't know we were trying to get him out. But then, as we were thinking about it, we were like, yeah, maybe the Eric plan is the better plan. So then in this case, it would be me, Sarah, Corey, and Leo vote Eric. And they came up with the 4-2-2 plan for Eric all on their own. So it actually ended up working out. So me, Sarah and I could pick whether we wanted to do Corey or we wanted to do Eric. Because either way, it was 4-2-2. Two, two. There was going to be either four votes on one person, two and two on two others. And it didn't matter who the four were on, Sarah and I got to choose. We can decide which two we go with to make it 4-2-2. Four, 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 two, two. Um, I think I just convinced her to go for Corey because I said I'm 100% certain he has this idol and I just don't like the fact that he has it. As we get smaller and smaller into groups, he's going to start thinking about playing it and saving himself and that's, that's risky moves. Sarah and I were in this dilemma of like, okay, who should we choose? Should we choose um, Eric or should we choose Corey to put the votes on? And I personally wanted to do Corey because... I mean, he's a huge threat, but then I was like, you know what, no, we need Corey because we need the numbers. And so then I was like, you know what, fuck Eric, let's just put the votes on Eric. I don't know, nothing's fully decided yet. Corey's gonna hate me after this. Sorry, Corey. You have an idol, and you're good at talking to people. Okay, quick tribal breakdown. Hallie told me that Audrey told him to that they were trying to get Corey out. And so Hallie was told to vote for Corey, but then it like kind of like flip flops. So now Audrey told Hallie to vote for Leo, which is good because I kind of wanted that. And then Eric told me to vote for Leo, which I'm also gonna do, you know, just like Eric's little puppet. And uh, I, what hopefully, hopefully they don't know is I told Corey and Sarah to also vote for Leo because I told Corey about like their whole plan to get him out. So he got paranoid and it, like kind of pushed him over the edge from voting for Hallie to voting for Leo. So. Fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. Me, Corey, Sarah, Hallie voting for Leo, and then don't know what the fuck Leo is doing. I'm pretty sure Audrey, Eric, and Leo are gonna vote for um, Corey. Yeah, so we'll see. Then May calls and it's like she had been saying where like she feels like she's being left out, like she wants to work with us, but at the same point in time, like needs to know. Like she was high key guilt tripping me, and she did the same thing to Sarah, which it's like. I get it, fine, like, I get it, I can understand that. I feel like the vote where you were immune, it was like, I just wasn't really expecting both you and Sarah to, like, write my name down and then also to, like, write it down twice. So I guess it kind of felt like you and her both chose to side with Leo over me. And, like, I understand it was, like, to, like, save me, like, from rocks and stuff, but I guess, like, the same thing could have been accomplished by just putting for Leo. And then, like, the next week, right, like, I, like, told you I would literally do everything in my power to save you. And, like, I know. literally they were all like, yeah, like, we want to vote on Corey. And I guess it just kind of sucked, right, because I was, like, really, like, trying hard to advocate for you the entire time. And then, like, you didn't tell me that I didn't have to do, like, all of that work. So I just feel like you passed, like, two things at least. So it's just been, like, everything that I haven't expected. And from, like, the person that, like, I trusted the most. The past few votes you've been left out, but at the same point in time, you didn't tell us you were fucking flipping to begin with. Um, I'm upset that they told Hallie. They're stupid. They are stupid. Eric, mm. if you would not have been going home tonight if your partner in crime wasn't stupid. Apparently, I know about the plan. Olivia knows about the plan. Audrey knows about the plan. And Sarah knows about the plan. So the four of us know about the plan. And everyone else just has pieces of it. They're part of the plan. But if it falls through and everyone stays true, me, Sarah, Olivia, and uh, Audrey, then it becomes a four on four. And I think I might be the one that receives the four. If I receive the four, then it's up to Olivia to decide whether she wants to flip on me or not. Last one of these. <laughs> At this point, I have enough people telling me that they are on my side, that I have to go with it. I have to be on it. I have to be faithful to them. I think Sarah is with me. I think Olivia is with me. And as long as May and Hallie vote the way they say they are and not for me, then the worst I can do is tie. The worst I can do is get Eric, Audrey, and Leo voting for me. This is a fucking clusterfuck. 
I had hopes of making it further in the game without getting both, but you know what? It do be like that sometimes. I just need to play off tribal very confidently, very cool, and think that they actually have me. And if all goes well, people talk about cutting off the head of the snake. Let's actually do it tonight. Not me, though. Let's get this dynamic duo out of the fucking game. Gon Batar, welcome back to Tribal Council. We will now welcome in the members of our jury. Zoe, Anthony, and Dorothy voted out at the last Tribal Council. Olivia could unfortunately not make it due to a personal matter. She has already voted. In a revote, we will <laughs> contact her accordingly. Holly, let's talk about the last vote. Dorothy goes home. Clearly, that was unexpected. What happened afterwards? From my position, like, honestly, nothing much happened. Like, I just lost someone I was close to, but besides that, I feel like everything overall seems more scrambled, but just for me, I feel like nothing really changed. Like, I don't think my perspective or, like, my gameplay has changed at all. Yeah. May, did you feel like that challenge was do or die for you after Dorothy went home? I don't know, the challenge was pretty rough, but I honestly didn't think that I was going to win it, but I guess it's lucky that I did, because, uh, I don't know, at this point in the game, you literally can't really expect anything. Audrey, at this point in the game, what are you thinking about in terms of booting people? There's only four more tribal councils after this before we're at the finals, so what does that tell you? I mean, I just, gotta be, I just think I have to be careful about who's like a strong player. And also, like, yeah, and who I want to work with. Eric, what is a strong player to you? I don't really know. I guess, like, all of us here are strong players because we're in the final eight. So pretty much, like, that's how I see it. Like, you wouldn't make it this far if you weren't a strong player. Sarah, in regards to the your path to the end, what are you thinking about when you come to Tribal Council now? Um, I'm thinking about, you know, making relationships, maintaining relationships, those kinds of things. Corey, we're looking at the jury right here. Um, an important part of winning this game is making sure that you have the votes to win. How are you going about that process knowing that every single person you vote out from this point forward is on the jury and they are talking and deciding your fate? It really comes down to just trying to, I mean, stick by your word and also just make sure that the people you're working with know that you have their back and even if, like, even if past votes, like, things weren't always on the same page, you've always had their best interests and, like, they're back in this game. <laughs> Leo, it's no secret that your name has been written down before. Um, it's what? been written down a lot. Um, how do you see yourself surviving this week, next week, and weeks forward? Well, it's interesting, Shane. I've gone to three tribals when there were an even amount of people left. I've gotten votes in all of them, fun fact. Five at the last one and four in the one before that. So statistically, I'm expecting a, a minimum of four votes tonight. <laughs> um, anything less, and I'll be frankly disappointed. With that, it is time to vote. Hallie, you're up first. Pains me to write your name. We were Apple Mile for life, but you shared the clue, and I wasn't okay with that, and I'm still not okay with that. And now, no more. You have flipped out over something small, continued to hold a grudge about it, lied to my face, and actively worked to vote me out. Stop being a snake and enjoy the journey. Let this work. Please let this work. Please let this work. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play one, now is the time to do so. <laughs> Seeing none, I'll read the votes. First vote, Corey. Second vote, Eric. That's one vote, Corey. One vote, Eric. Next vote, Corey. That's two votes, Corey. One vote, Eric. Next vote, Corey. That's three votes, Corey. One vote, Eric. Next vote, Eric. That's three votes, Corey. Two votes, Eric. Eric, we're tied. That's three votes, Eric. Three votes, Corey. Corey, that's four votes, Corey. Three votes, Eric. One vote left. Eric, we have a tie. Yes! <laughs> All right, we are going to have a brief two minute discussion period. Okay, Olivia, it's a tie like it was when it was me versus May. It's four to four, they, did, they all voted for Corey. So it's the re-vote, so we can only vote for Eric or um, Corey. Do you guys think the same? Should we just all save time? Or are you guys I'm, I'm, not, I'm not flipping on Eric. You're not flipping on Eric? Okay, what about you? <laughs> They have been trying to get me out for two weeks. Corey, I'm they're, honest. Is, they are I've literally been us. trying to help you this entire time, and you've never Please. told me the truth with everything. I have. Know. That is not literally. True. You didn't tell me this time. You didn't tell me last time. The last you time wrote I did down twice. I didn't know it's true. On this phone, I said I was not going to write your name down. If you were honest. Okay, what was your original plan? Okay, originally we. Okay, so originally we met, and um, Olivia threw Olivia threw out your name, and then she also threw out Corey's name. And then we talked, and then and like I was trying to get it to be Corey because I was like, why would we go to Holly? That's kind of stupid. Um, and so then, so that so then we talked some more, and then Olivia was like, yeah, I know, right? Like let's get Corey. And so then, so then we talked, so then we talked some more, and um, she tries to get Leo on board, but Leo really wa didn't want to go for Corey. Leo wanted to go for you. So then we said, so we we're like, all right, let's think about some more. But then Leo goes, all right, we're, like I'm down with for Corey. And then last minute something changed and she texts me and she says that <laughs> we're supposed to, oh, yeah, that I'm supposed to go for Corey with a bunch of like with And then she went for it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew something was up when like she texted that it was a little fishy. Eric's been, Eric's been saying it's me and Olivia, and Eric's been saying it's like Corey, cool. like the old boulders, yeah. the crackers. Wait, because you voted for Eric, I did, that's why we voted for Eric, because okay. yeah. I thought you were voting for me, I thought it was going to be 2-2. I thought, I honestly had no idea. I thought you were voting for Eric, and then the four votes were taken off Corey, but if you voted for me, because I thought you were voting for Corey, then I thought you were voting for Corey, but if you we can't flip, dude. We don't have the numbers. Yes, we do. We don't have the numbers. I'm fucked and you're next. They don't trust us. Hallie, Audrey, and Eric, and May are going to take us out. One, two, three. Do you think Corey, Hallie's actually Corey's been voting with us. Does Hallie actually flip? I don't know. Yeah, Richard, it's it's like, it's like, it's safe no matter what. If we go to Rocks, it doesn't hurt May. And, and you're probably safe. And like... Yeah. 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 We'll see what happens. I think I think rocks work once. We can see if we make rocks work again. I give you this time. Who gives a fuck? We're gonna go to rocks again. Yes. No. Why not? Because <laughs> neither of us even picked rocks. Neither of us even picked rocks. We can totally avoid this if I tell Dude, him. Dude, I'm done in this game if he leaves. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, Audrey and Eric and Hallie have all voted for me. They're so, gonna do it again. Do you think Hallie's slipping or not? I think he would. But either way, like, we need to take a risk. Olivia. Yeah? Are you cool? Like, what do you want to do? I don't know. Olivia was one who came up with this plan, so I wanted to 
I want But then to why didn't Olivia book it first? It doesn't make sense. Like, the thing is, both of you do so many things last minute, and you say, oh, sorry, I didn't tell you, mate, and then you tell me after. And I'm yeah. being upfront right. with you. This was You're precious right. was because... And so that's why I know that you, you guys are one of my number ones, because you don't tell me when it happens. Okay, I right. messed up. I just... I, I really wanted to tell you, and then they told me not to say anything like that at all. Corey's with us. May has now. no reason to flip. Honestly, she's immune. She doesn't go to rocks. I think Hallie would do it. I think we have like, Hallie. There, we need to talk to Hallie. I, it's too we late. Can't, to tell we you. can't. No, talk we're, trust me. Trust no, we're still me. discussing. I, what we're do you still mean? allowed to talk about it because we're still talking to Olivia. Okay, I like May's talking no, to him dude, right now. I think Hallie's flipping, and I'll get back in there with Hallie. But Please. I'm voting for Eric. Okay. I'm I know it's a big risk. We are done. <laughs> I'm gonna get out. I just know it. I just Sarah, know why, it. Why? I just know if I go to rocks, I'm gonna get out. And but you, you know, and if you vote for Corey, you're getting fit. So what's you the fucking difference? That's why I'm saying I'm gonna go work on Hallie, but we cannot break. We cannot break this line. Like we got. Wait, I'm so glad that I got your like eye contact because I didn't really like. Okay, pretty I kind of just want to go to rocks because I can't do that. I'm flipping. You're gonna flip to him. Both of you literally did the exact wrong. same thing to me. Literally yeah. the exact same thing. So. Like a father. But then, who do, you, who do you trust to make it up to? And that's what it comes down to. What? Let's do it. I'm ready for rocks. For the second time tonight, I'll read the votes. First vote, Corey. Corey. Eric, that's two votes Corey, one vote Eric. Eric, we're tied. Eric, that's three votes Eric, two votes Corey. Corey, we're tied again. We're in a deadlock. You will have a minute. If you can come to a consensus, either Eric or Corey will be voted out. If you cannot, we will go to rocks. What's doing? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing anything. What the fuck? Can Sarah and I call Olivia? Uh, you are free to call Olivia. It's okay. It's, we're at a tie, and I don't want to go to I'm, I'm down to turn on Corey, because yeah. he just, he admitted to having the idol. Yeah. So, right. at least the idol's gone, and they don't know that he has it. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're going to flip. Yeah. There's more. So be careful who you cut. Go for it. That's fine. Oh, yeah. All right, we're turning. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Alright. I'm flipping a cord. Olivia. I'm gonna flip the cord. Sarah. Okay. Do I have to answer right now? Yep. Um, it has to be unanimous. Alright. They're not flipping, so. Allie? Oh, I'm not flipping. Audrey? I'm not flipping. Alright. We have our first consensus. The 11th person voted out of Scotty Survivor Steel City and the fourth member of our jury. Corey. Corey, you need to bring me your torch. Corey, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. Don't think I'm the only one out here lying. Be careful. You have no fucking clue what's going on. Never! Did I ever expect a consensus in this vote? Clearly, things might be more patched than they seem.
Good night. Next time on Scotty Survivor Steel City. After Corey's elimination, the final seven players fight for immunity in an outdoor challenge that tests their memory and physical abilities. And yet, another week filled with paranoia, will some players be scared enough to finally resort to their hidden immunity idols? Tune in next week to find out. Well, I tried playing with fire, and I guess at the end of the day, sometimes you can get burned. Um, Honestly, on the phone, Olivia said and he didn't play his idol, so they knew. I thought they knew, honestly. But sometimes that's how, that's how it goes. Honestly, I can't blame them for flipping. I can't say I thought I was going to get four votes, but such is life sometimes. I have no allegiances to anybody left in this game, so it's going to be a very interesting final travel for me. Previously on Scotty Survivor Steel City, the players faced off in touchy subjects answering tricky questions about their fellow contestants and guessing the most common answer overall. Some contestants received a wake-up call about their status in the game, and with immunity, Audrey had the means to flip, and in a tight race between Olivia and Dorothy, a 5-4 split resulted in Dorothy's elimination. Eight are left. Who will be voted out tonight? <laughs>